Unlike similar videos, these are actual hacks that you can use to edit faster, kind of improve your workflow, and they're just cool to set up. They do take a little bit of time, so just stick with me, but I promise once you set these up, you're gonna be happy you did. Let's say you own quite a few plugins, but you only really use a few presets from each one consistently. Sound familiar? For example, you may have a favorite title or two from one plugin, an effect from another plugin, and so on. You know that it's a pain to have to remember which plugin pack those presets are in, and it is annoying to have to scroll through to find the one that you want. Hopefully I can help you out with this hack though. Head to your motion templates folder, which can be found by going to movies, and clicking motion templates. And let's start with our titles. So hop in and let's create a new folder and label it favorites. And in order to get this folder to sit at the top of the titles list so it's easily visible, let's add something before the word favorites. So you can press control command and the space bar to bring up your emojis window. Add a star. And now this folder will be sitting at the top of your titles. Then what you'll do is bring up another finder window Go to Motion Templates and Titles again, and go through your titles to find the presets that you use the most. So for example, I use these presets from the ProZooms plugin for my buddy Dylan Bates in every video. I'll link it below if you're interested in picking it up. So you'll just hold Option and drag these presets to the Favorites folder that you just created to quick copy them. Add as many presets as you'd like to this Favorites folder. Then when you go back into Final Cut and head to the top of your titles, you'll see you have a favorites folder with all of the different presets that you use frequently. A huge time saver. And just do the steps that we just went over for your effects and your transitions as well. Now certain presets from different companies don't allow you to do this, but a lot do, so it's worth mentioning. Also, let me know if you think this should be a built-in feature in Final Cut Pro. The ability to favor different presets of yours I think would be incredible. It's annoying and time consuming to have to head to another folder outside of Final Cut to drag in sound effects for your video, right? It takes a lot of time and you can't see the waveforms or even preview the sound effects without clicking them. This should help you out tremendously. Go to the master folder that has all of your sound effects. And if you don't have one, I would suggest creating one. After you've done that, control right click the folder and hit make alias. This is a folder that's tied to this main sound effect folder. They're basically best buddies that tell each other everything. So for example, if you add my Filmic Crisp sound effects pack to this main folder that will be coming out next week, I'm very excited about it, the sound effects pack will automatically be added to that buddy folder as well. Now let me show you where to put this buddy folder. So open up a new window and go to your hard drive, then the library, audio, Apple loops, Apple, Final Cut Pro sound effects and drag that buddy folder here. And with that adjustment, now you'll have all of your personal sound effects directly in the software. And best of all, if you need to find a sound in a specific sound effect pack, you can do so easily because it retains and keeps that folder structure. And by the way, I've gotten a few comments from people saying that they don't see the Final Cut Pro sound effects folder. If you're using a trial version, you might not. And if you're not using a trial version, try this. Hit Final Cut Pro in the top left and select Download Additional Content you may be able to download the sound effects folder that way. This next hack allows you to quickly press a shortcut to assign custom roles to your media so you can easily see which video clip is what and which audio clip is what. So just by selecting some media and pressing some keys that we're gonna hack to set up, you can easily tell what's B-roll on your timeline, what's voiceover, what's Foley, what's ambient sound effects, and so on. Here's the thing though, Final Cut already has some basic shortcuts for a few default roles. If we control right click this sound effect and go to assign roles, you'll see that these default roles already have keyboard shortcuts to them. The problem is that with these different custom roles that we're gonna learn how to set up, there are no shortcuts that you can quickly press. So every time you wanna make a sound effect a certain role or a video a certain role, you have to right click to hop back into the menu system to select that custom role every single time. This is annoying when you have tons of sound effects and clips. So here's the hack that I learned from my good buddy, Brad West. First and foremost, do your future self a favor and create a new library called Custom Roles Template, and then a new project in that library. 
We do this so that these roles will work across all of your different projects. That way you don't have to set these up every single time. Add some basic titles by pressing Ctrl T, or you can create one and then press Option and drag. And we're just adding these so we can apply the different roles that we're gonna set up. Then add a random sound effect under these titles. Control right click, hit assign video roles, edit roles, and add some new roles. Maybe a B-roll roll, <laughs> that's a lot of roles, and a screen recording roll. You can add whatever you'd like to help you stay organized though. You can maybe have one that says graphics or images, whatever you think you would use the most. And do the same for audio roles. So we already have dialogue, effects, and music. So I like to add ambient sound effects, target Foley sound effects, and voiceover. Once you change the colors to what you'd like, hit apply. Then go through and assign different roles to each of these until you've used all your roles. Put this library somewhere that you can access it easily. So maybe your movies folder. Then whenever you start a new project, you just open the custom roles library that we created and drag that roles template project into the new library so that these roles will automatically be saved. Now we're gonna set up the keyboard shortcuts. Stick with me. This is where the magic happens. Find keyboard shortcuts in your system settings. Go to app shortcuts. Hit the plus sign and start typing Final Cut Pro and select it. You'll type in the exact name of the different roles that you created. So for this example, let's first do ambient sound effects. And since the music roll shortcut, the effect roll shortcut, and the dialogue roll shortcut are all control, option, and then the first letter of that word, let's do the same for this custom roll as well. So press control, option, and A for ambient. Once you do this for all of the new roles that you created and hit done, you can just select clips on your timeline and hit control option and that first letter that you want to change them to. It's a huge time saver. It's a great way to stay organized and I wish I knew it sooner. Although nothing compares to the amount of time that I've saved over the years from setting these up in FCP and tons of other editors have said the same. So watch this video to spend less time editing and more time doing what you want to be doing. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe if you have not already and have a great day.